Related addition and subtraction for two-digit numbers, lesson 8.9. Addition and subtraction are related. We learned that back in chapter 5. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So if we have 5 and take away 2, it'll bring us back to 3. Those are related facts, like a fact family. The 100 chart will help us find a sum and a difference for two-digit numbers. We can have related facts for two-digit numbers. 24 plus 30, we start at the 24, here it is, and we count on three tens for the 30. 24 is where we start and we count on three tens. 34, 44, 54. So 24 plus 30 is equal to 54. The tens went up by one, three tens, four tens, five tens, when we added the 30, the three tens. The related fact would be the sum 54 minus the three tens, the 30, that we added before. 54 minus 30, we start at the 54 right here, and we count back three tens. One, two, three. It brings us back to the 24, just like the add end for the addition sentence. So 54 minus 30 is equal to 24. We counted back 44, 34, 24. Because we were counting back, the number in the tens place got smaller by one each time. See? Four tens, three tens, two tens. We can use the hundred chart to add and subtract. 25 plus 20, we start at the 25. Here is the column that has fives in the ones place, so there's 25. And we want to add 20, so we're going to count on two tens. One, two. We go from 25 to 35, 45. 25 plus 20 is equal to 45. And we can do the subtraction sentence. 45 minus 20 is equal to, do you know? Just from looking at these two number sentences, would you know the answer? Knowing that they're related facts? We can use the 100 chart and count back two tens because this is subtraction. We find the 45 and we count back two tens. One, two. It brings us back to the 25. That was the add end in the addition sentence. We can try it again. We have 54 plus 30. We're going to start at 54 and count on three tens for the 30. We start at 54 and count on three tens. 64, 74, 84. The answer is 84. We can do a related subtraction sentence. 84 minus 30. We would count back, starting at 84, three tens back. Do you know what the difference would be here, knowing that these are related number sentences? Some of you know, I bet. We could start at the 84 and count back three tens using the 100 chart. Here's the 84. We count back three tens. 74, 64, 54. The answer is 54. And that's the same number as the add end in the addition sentence. Let's try another one. We have 72 plus 10. We can count on 110. We find the 72. Here it is. We're going to count on 110. 82. 72 plus one more 10 is the next row down. And the answer is 82. That's the sum. And we can do a related subtraction sentence. 82 minus 10, we would just count back 110. Because the related number sentences, do you know what the difference here would be? We can start at the 82 and count back 110 to 72. That was the add end in the addition sentence. Let's try another one. We have 33 plus 40. We're going to start at the 33 and count on four tens. We start at the 33, it's right here, and count on four tens. 
43, 53, 63, 73. See, that's four hops for four tens. We started at 33 and went one, two, three, four for four tens. It brought us to 73. We can write a related subtraction sentence, 73 minus 40, we would count back four tens. And do you know what the difference here would be? Knowing that these are related number sentences? I'm sure some of you do. So let's look at the hundred chart. We're going to start at 73 and count back four tens. We're going to start at the 73 and count back four tens. One, two, three, four, 33. The difference is 33. And if you look at the addition sentence, that was one of the add-ins. There are 32 birds on a tree. 10 birds fly away, then 10 more birds fly onto the tree. How many birds are on the tree now? Well, we could draw a picture to solve this. We could draw a tree and write the number 32 on it to show there's 32 birds in a tree then we could subtract the 10 birds that fly away. We can also use a number sentence. We can start with 32 and count back 110. We can use the 100 chart. We start the 32 and count back 110. That's 22. So now there's 22 birds in the tree, but then it says 10 more birds fly onto the tree. So there were 32 birds in the tree, 10 flew away, and then 10 more came back. So now we're at 22 after we took these 10 birds away, but then 10 more birds flew into the tree. So now we have 22 plus the 10 more that flew back into the tree. We can start at the 22 and count on 110 to 32. So, how many birds are in the tree now? 32. It's the same number we started with. Do you see what happened? There were 32 birds in the tree, 10 flew away, but then 10 more came. So, by 10 flying away and 10 more coming back, it stayed the same number. See that? It stayed 32. Let's try another one. There are 36 turtles on a log. 10 turtles jump into the river, then 10 more jump into the river. How many turtles are still on the log? So we have to be careful because you're going to see the word more and think that it's an addition sentence adding the 10 to the 36, but that's not what's happening here. 10 turtles jump into the river, then 10 more jump into the river. So we could add the 10 plus 10, we could do that, but because they jumped into the river and we're looking for how many are still on the log, we would have to subtract that from 36. What we could do is start with the 36 turtles on the log, 10 jump into the river, so we could take 10 away and count back 110. 36 counting back 110 would be 26. Then it said 10 more jump into the river. So now we're at 26 are still on the log. And 10 more jumped into the river. We can count back 110 again. We're at 26 right here. We count back 110, and it brings us to 16. How many turtles are still on the log? 16. So. We could have added these two tens together to make two tens, a 20, and we could have said there were 36 turtles on the log and take away the 20 that jumped off altogether, and we would still have 16. 6 take away 0 is 6, and 3 take away 2 is a 1. We would have 1 10 and 6 1s. That's still 16 turtles. We can either subtract get a difference, then subtract again, or because all of these turtles jumped into the river, we could combine the amount that jumped into the river and then take it away from the ones that were on the log. Either way, we get the same answer. 
Now we need to match the math sentences that count on and count back by tens. So we're going to match the related facts. If you take a look at these, can you see any related facts? We could solve them, and that would help us. What is 49 plus four more tens? We could count on by tens, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89. This one is equal to 89. We can start at 21 and count on three tens, 21, 31, 41, 51. This one is equal to 51. We can start at 67 and count on 110, 67, 77. Now will that help us match them? Do you see a 49, a 40, and an 89 that has a related fact on this side? I see an 89 and a 40. The only thing that would be missing would be the 49. If we had 89 and took four tens away, we would have 49. So those two match. Solving and finding their sum can help us, can't it? How about 30, 21, and 51 for a sum? Do you see a number sentence that could be a related fact? This one has a 51 and a 30. What is 51 minus three tens? We can count back 51, 41, 31, 21. It equals 21 for the difference. That matches that one, doesn't it? So it helps us to match them if we know what their sum or difference is, doesn't it? 67 plus 10 equals 77. That's a related fact for this one. If we have 77 and take 110 away, We'll have 67. That's the related fact. So we can have related facts with two-digit numbers just like we had related facts with one-digit numbers. Our next lesson is practice addition and subtraction. That's going to be lesson 8.10, the last lesson for chapter 8 before we move on to measurement. Keep practicing your addition and subtraction facts so you become good at them. And have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.